Greetings YouTube, uh, this is done by request. Um, someone wanted to know how to make a server on Minecraft. Um, this is the only way I know how to do it without opening ports. Which is to use a program called Hamachi, which is an FTP tunneling client, which allows someone to connect to your local network, and that's how it works. Um, so before you do anything else in this process, you need to install Hamachi. And on the Windows 7, on Windows 7, which I have, there are some conflicts between my, um, hold on, let me just... But there are some conflicts between the Hamachi network adapter and my wireless network connection. So what I did was created a network bridge between wireless network connection and Hamachi. Took out Hamachi, so in the network bridge there is only your your wireless connection, and then it somehow seemed to work. Um, so if you have any problems about conflicts, then just bear in mind that that process works. Another thing which is optional, which I recommend, is a shortcut to the roaming folder. And I'll show you why this is useful. So let's create a shortcut, and it's percent app data percent and then create a shortcut to roaming and this contains your craft bucket which is going to be the server and the .minecraft file which is useful for any mods so go to this link scroll to the top and look for where it says an installer for Java 1.6 or installer for Java 1.7 they're both legitimate versions but the 1.7 is a beta which is a testing like a small group of people get to use that. Well not even a small group, you can choose to download 1.7 if you want but there will be bugs. So go ahead and download this craft bucket installer. I think I've already got this installed somewhere. Let me find this. There it is. So um, let this install. Uh, I can cancel this, I don't need it anymore. And then you get the craft bucket install program and it tells you what it is. It's just it's a simple way to create a server without having to type in any code. So click next, next, you have to agree. And then it gives you the option to choose where to install the server. I recommend leaving it as it is, giving it next again, and it tells you that it's going to install. Since I've already done this before, I have no need to do it again. It will only conflict with my other one. So once that's done, you'll get the launch craft bucket uh, option, which is the server. And you'll also have the roaming file, and it should say craft bucket. You won't have as many options as this, because I have already had a server for a while. And there are some server properties which you can edit. Bear in mind, if you want cracked launchers to join your games, See where it says online mode, just set that to false. And then you can pretty much edit any everything inside of here. Now for the Hamachi part. Log into Hamachi and it will say network and it says create a new network. And you have to type in a new network ID and a password to let people join. And when that's done, people can join through your network. These are some people which are connected to my network at the moment. And this number here, take note of that, because that is your server IP. Now, once you've hit Craft Bucket, it'll pop up with a, a CMD EXE, and this is your server. And just to prove to you that it works, I'm going to go ahead and start up Minecraft now. Just going to log in right now. Um, and then hit multiplayer and punch in the IP which you get in your Hamachi and then you connect oh. just to prove that it works um, I'm gonna type in something say hi to YouTube um, um, and this is the world so this, this is just a proof that uh, it works this isn't a fake and it's time to say hi to YouTube. And I hope this works for you. Thank you very much, and goodbye.